This is Ground Affected. My name is your dad. And welcome to dropping your spatula into your resin vat. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to clean your airbrush. But before we get into that, make sure to leave a like on the video, perhaps leave some words in the little square box that YouTube allows you to leave some words in. And while you're down there, if you haven't already, click subscribe because for every new subscriber I get, I'll have one more new subscriber. Now I'm sure there are plenty videos on YouTube showing you how to clean an airbrush. In this video, I'm just gonna show you how I do it and I'm gonna kinda talk you through some of the things that I do while I'm cleaning my own airbrush. How often do you need to clean your airbrush? That is up to you and how you use it. If you are doing micro maintenance during usage of the airbrush, you may not have to clean it that much. However, if you become like me and you start to get a little bit uh, heavy handed, let's call it, you may have to clean your airbrush a little bit more often than usual. In this video, I'll show you how I do a full breakdown, complete cleaning of the airbrush, and put it back together again so that you can have the best success you deserve with your airbrush. This is my airbrush. It is an Iwata Eclipse HPCS. Don't ask me what any of those things mean, but this is my airbrush. First thing to take this thing apart, I'm going to need to disconnect or at least turn off the air compressor and unscrew and take off the air hose. This will just make it easier to move the airbrush around while I'm trying to clean it. As you can tell, this airbrush is super filthy. A lot of this paint is dried. This has been left overnight, so it is in a bad state. I'm not going to lie. I take off the back and I take off the front nozzles. The reason I do it in this order is because the back needs to come off anyway. And by taking off the front nozzles, I'm relieving any pressure, no chance of me dropping or knocking it, especially while it's not attached to the hose or it's not in its holder or anything like that. I always push the needle out through the front when I'm taking it out when it's dirty. If the needle is clean, I'll take it out through the back. It doesn't make that much of a difference. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. It doesn't matter, dude. Just don't bend the needle. That's the most important thing you need to take away from taking needle in and out. Don't bend the needle. Needle tip, very important. Don't bend, never damage. Illegal to damage your needle tip. I use alcohol to clean a lot of the components on this airbrush. I find that this is a really high quality airbrush, so the seals in this airbrush should be able to handle detergents and solvents quite well. So I use alcohol, it's just super easy to clean acrylic paints with. And I start out by just cleaning the needle, cleaning the nozzle and the areas that are pretty much open to or available to get your hands and a little scrubbing brush too. I take pieces of tissue and I twist them up and I wet them in alcohol and I stick them into places, I twist and turn, bend and push, a lot of fiddling goes on to clean this. Technically, looking at the time that it took me to actually clean this in the footage, it was no more than 15 minutes and realistically, you could probably get away with not having to clean this much, especially if you don't do what I did and just leave it full of paint and forget about it and then wake up the next day with a little bit of a tear in your eye. But this is what I did and this is how I have to clean it. I try to get the little wire cleaners that I've got as deep into it as I can to make sure that I can get as much of that paint that's dried up inside, scraped out and pushed away and at least broken up a little bit. I then use this sharp little thing that I had shown in a previous video to clean out the nozzle. Be extra careful not to bend or open up that nozzle by pushing it too deep. You're just trying to scratch the paint that's on the inside. Don't scrape that you damage the metal, but also try not to push it out so that you bend and flare open the tip. That's going to be a bad time. Now that I've got most of the loose stuff out of the airbrush and it's mostly cleaned, I'm going to take it over to my sink, which I don't have a camera in my bathroom for some reason. Maybe you can figure that out yourself. But while I'm there, I'm going to rinse out with warm water and make sure that every little piece of gunk and goo has come straight out of the airbrush and I'm going to allow this to dry. And once it's fully dried, we're going to get back into rebuilding the airbrush again. So in order to put it back together again, what we're going to do is place on the O-ring that I previously took out to clean. And this is something that probably is going to be a little bit more important than anything else. You need to make sure that things are lubed inside your airbrush. These are metal pieces and they're inside of each other and on top of each other and metal 
does not like to scrape on metal without any kind of protection. So the most important moving parts are the parts that need to be slightly lubed and not over lubed. They don't need to be dripping with lube. They just need to have a tiny bit of lube on them. Those two parts for me are going to be on the trigger itself the part that goes into the air section you do not want a lot on there just a tiny little bit just to slightly coat it it's not even coated it just has a touch of it on and then the next important part is the needle this time i'll push it in through the back yes that is probably contrary to what anybody will tell you but i push it through the back for a specific reason this allows that loop that i put on the needle to slightly go onto the inside of the airbrush itself now this may be crazy, I don't know if it is, but it works very well for me. This is just to keep things running smoothly, moving freely, with no weird catching or anything funny that could happen, and this is what's worked best for me. Once this has all been put together, I'm ready to roll. All it needs now is to have a hose attached to it, and a little bit of something like water or whatever to be put into it, just to test that everything is running smoothly. You'll know because it will either spit or it'll make a weird sound and it won't sound smooth and crispy. When it sounds smooth and crispy, you know you've cleaned it good. Hopefully you learned something in this video. If you didn't, that is probably because you already know how to use your airbrush. Either that or you don't even have an airbrush and you don't really care. But you watch the video anyway because you care about my views. And I like the fact that you care about my views. Of course, those others that care about them is my Patreons. And if you would like to support just like they are, you can join the Patreon. Now I know I say this in every video, join the Patreon, join the Patreon. However, that is not the only way you can support me. I appreciate every single person who watches my videos from the beginning to the end. This is something that tells YouTube my videos are worth viewing. And of course, if you're doing that, as well as sharing it with your gran, then you're doing the best you can to support the channel. And I appreciate every one of you who are doing that. But if you want to support that little bit more, then the Patreon is something you might like. Of course, the Patreon is not something that comes lightly. If you join the Patreon, you will get access to the Discord. The Discord is private, but in that Discord, you have access to all the best printers and painters in the world. And by all the best, I mean the nice guys. Also, I'm in that Discord too. So if you have any questions you would like to privately ask or ask something to help with the future project, then that Discord is the best place to be a lot of bombs dropped in that discord every single day if you want to learn something new perhaps that's something for you now that we've managed to make it to the end of the video the best thing I can say to you if you did not like anything you saw in this video is just click the dislike button we know there's gonna be one of you doing it anyway and then just off after that man because if you don't want to know how to clean your airbrush then that's probably the best thing you can do